Moving on to the 10th question. Two poles of equal heights are standing on opposite each other on the either side of the road, which is 80 meter wide. From the point in between them on the road, the angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. Find the heights of the pole and the distance of the point from the poles. Now moving on to the solution. Let us assume AB and CD are two poles which are 80 meter wide. Now the heights of the poles as they are equal, let us equate them to some height h. He says that a point between the road, let the point on the road be some e. From there, angle of elevations of both the poles, that is angle of elevations of let a b pole be alpha that is equal to 60 degrees and angle of elevation of pole c d b beta which is nothing but 30 degrees. Let us represent the above information in the form of the figure as shown. Then here a b c d or two poles and e is the point on the road and here alpha is 60 degrees and beta is 30 degrees. Now the width of the road is db that is nothing but 80 meters. Heights of the poles we assume it to be h meters. Here we need to find the height of the poles and also the distance of the point e from each point. In order to find this, let us initially consider in triangle AEB, angle ABE is equal to 90 degrees. In right angle triangle, let us consider the trigonometric ratio tan, then we get tan alpha is equal to opposite side that is nothing but AB divided by adjacent side that is nothing but EB. That implies tan alpha that is tan alpha value is 60 degrees is equal to AB that is H divided by EB which implies EB is equal to H by tan 60 value is root 3. Let it be as equation number 1. Now let us consider the triangle CDE. In triangle CDE, let us consider the tan beta that will be equal to opposite side CD divided by adjacent side is DE. That implies tan 30 degrees is equal to CD is H divided by DE. That implies we know tan 30 degrees is nothing but 1 by root 3. If we send that side then we get DE is equal to H root 3. Let it be as equation number 2. Now by adding 1 and 2 we get EB plus DE is equal to H root 3 plus H by root 3 that implies from figure EB plus DE is nothing but BD is equal to if we take root 3 LCM here we get 4H by root 3 that implies BD value is given as 80 meters that is 80 is equal to 4H by root 3 which implies H is equal to 80 into root 3 by 4 that is nothing but 20 root 3. Therefore finally we got the value of heights of the poles that is 20 root 3 meters. We need to find the distance of point E from both the poles. Therefore DE will be the distance of point E from pole CD that is equal to h root 3 which is nothing but 20 root 3 into root 3 that is nothing but 60 meters. Secondly we need to find the value of BE which is nothing but the distance of point E from pole AB that is nothing but h by root 3 that is 20 root 3 by root 3 that is nothing but 20 meters.